Hey guys, so um, this is Soul Singed here, and you're probably wondering why I'm making this video since my YouTube channel is primarily focused on hip hop and rap and music. But one of my favorite pastimes outside of music is BattleBots. I love BattleBots. So I just decided I'm going to start making some videos about BattleBots because I just kind of want to branch out my channel a little bit, and I figured, why not? And if you're a BattleBots fan who happens to be stumbling across my channel for the first time, that my name is Soul Singed. I make music. I also make videos about rap and hip hop. So if you'd be interested, I'd really appreciate you guys checking that out. Also, spoilers. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on every fight, which means I'm going to be saying who wins. So if you haven't seen the first episode yet and you don't want to be spoiled, then don't watch this video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, someone did re-upload it to YouTube, so you can check it out for now. Um, I may end up getting deleted. I don't know, but it is up there for now. So without further ado, let me just get into my thoughts on each fight. And also, I made a little prediction video before I watched it, um, predicting who would win each fight, and I got a 50-50. I got four out of the the eight right so i'll show that and then we'll just get into my thoughts on each fight okay saw blaze versus whiplash going with whiplash fusion versus mad catter gotta go with fusion malice versus axe backwards eh, axe backwards never been that good so i gotta go with malice scorpios versus blood sport uh, that's a toughie. I'm going to go with Bloodsport just as a personal preference, but that one's a toughie. I feel like Scorpius might actually win, but I'm, go I'm going with Bloodsport. Lockjaw versus Captain Shredderator. I got to go with Lockjaw. Rusty versus Sporkinock. Don't know much about either. Neither of them look that amazing, but I'm going to go with Rusty. You know what? Go Rusty. Sharkoprion versus Smee. I'm going to go with Sharko, because I don't know what Smee is or what it can do. In-game versus Tombstone. Ooh. I'm going to go with Tombstone, but it should be interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to cut back to this at the end to see how, how accurate I was. So, as you can see, we have the fight card here pulled up. The first match, I, of course, predicted Whiplash would win, and Sawblaze absolutely dominated which is a little disappointing, I, which I mean, I'm not a huge fan of either of these bots, but Whiplash has looked really impressive, and I don't know, they just look kind of disappointing in their opening fight, and I don't know if they were having problems with their weapon, or if Sawblaze just overpowered them that hard, but they really weren't all that impressive looking, but Sawblaze is a great robot, there were two very good robots fighting, so... I don't know, hopefully Whiplash can bounce back, but it looks like Sawblaze will be one of the top bots this year. Fusion versus Mad Catter. Of course, I picked Fusion it being a Team Wayachi bot, and I was kind of blinded by all the hype. I didn't even think about the fact that having these two super powerful weapons would be very easy for them to overheat, which is exactly what that did, because about halfway through the match, Fusion just burst into flames. <laughs> And Mad Catter looked very impressive with their vertical spinner configuration, which I'm really uh, kind of shocked because last year Mad Catter didn't look all that impressive, but that was its first year competing. It came back this year and looks really impressive and could be a very competent bot. Next we have Malice versus Axe Backwards. Now I went ahead and went with Malice just because Axe Backwards has never proven to be that good of a bot. <clears throat> so I don't have much hope in Axe Backwards. It's a cool design, cool concept, but it has never proven itself to be all that good. And of course, Malice dominated and the fight was over pretty quickly. Scorpios versus Bloodsport. <coughs> Now, I know a lot of people probably went with Scorpios. Again, they're another fantastic bot. But I went with Bloodsport personally because I just like their design better. They had some fairly impressive moments last year, and I've seen some of their test videos. And I think they have a pretty competent bot. They're one of the better full-body spinners that we have this year, and I feel like they can go pretty far. 
Lockjaw versus Captain Shredderator. Of course, I have picked Lockjaw winning this one because the last few years Captain Shredderator hasn't done all that well. Though they do look pretty impressive this year. Even though they lost, they do look to have one of the better versions of Captain Shredder, which Shredderator, which he did say that they went back to their old, old, old design from 2003 when they won a lot. And the only problem with that is, yeah, it may have been good then, but is it still good now since Robot Combat has changed and evolved so much? And it did look somewhat impressive, um, which of course after the match they said it was um, the break. A pin in the break came loose, which caused it to lock up, which prevented them from spinning up their weapon. But in the future, if they can get that problem fixed, I feel like they could win the rest of their matches, potentially. Rusty versus Sporkanok. Now, a lot of people were jumping on the Sporkanok hype train. I haven't. I don't really see what's so spectacular about it. Um... Their team captain is a trans individual, which is cool to see them being more inclusive, I guess. But it was two new bots. Neither looked super impressive, but Rusty came away with the win, which is cool to see because Rusty is everyone's favorite robot this year. And <clears throat> I feel like after this fight, Rusty looks like it could be a somewhat decent bot, especially with that weapon because he calls it a hammer. But it's also kind of a crusher because it's that jackhammer so he can hit you with the hammer and then just try to jackhammer into you and tear up your internals, which is exactly what he did to Sporkanok. He had one solid hit, just kind of drilled in, and that was pretty much it for Sporkanok. So looking forward to see Rusty in the future, see how much he can build on this first win. And then the last fight before the main event, Shmi versus Sharkoprion, or Sharko. <clears throat> I picked Sharko because in the previous years, he's looked to be a pretty good bot. This year, he is a pneumatic crusher. And this feels like one of those fights that honestly could have went either way. It did go the distance. It was the only fight in the first episode to go the distance. And it was a unanimous decision for Smee to win, I guess, because it was more aggressive and more in control. And did do more damage with those little bitty spinners on the edges of it. And I went with Sharko because I didn't fully know what Smee was. And it's a really interesting concept to have, like, a jointed like that to try to wrap around them and just kind of bite into your opponent. And plus, like that, all your real juicy internals are on the sides, and it's very hard to get around to them when they can just whip it around and everything like that. So, really interesting design. It'll be really cool to see them build off this and see what they can put together this season. And the main again, main event, Endgame versus Tombstone. I personally went with Tombstone, and Tombstone lost. Um, it wasn't because Tombstone did anything wrong. It was just a couple exchanges sent both bots flying. Tombstone kind of got caught in the screws. And Endgame just hit him again and flew him out of the railings. Which, of course, KO'd him since he couldn't get back into the arena. So a really disappointing start for Tombstone, but nothing terrible. Um, I'm sure the Tombstone will bounce back and kick ass its next two fights and... I'm sure we'll see them in the top 32. So after this first uh, episode, ones to really look for is going to be Sawblaze, Malice. Yeah, I I'm I'm willing to bet Malice is going to go pretty far this year. Fusion, I don't know. If they, if they can get the kinks worked out, that could potentially be a really good bot. Bloodsport, I feel like it's going to go pretty far. Logjaw could potentially win the Giant Nut. Rusty, it'll be fun to see what they can do. And same with Smee, it'll be fun to see what they can do with this unique design. And then, of course, Endgame and Tombstone, both are going to be ones to look out for. And hopefully Whiplash can bounce back and move forward and get back to the way they were last year. So yeah, that just about wraps up my thoughts for this, um... A little video on BattleBots. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next episode, or the next video. Peace!